TSB Talk Sport Business on Talk 100.3. If you want to join the conversation, uh, 0586861003 is the number. Well, many people have labelled it a circus and even pathetic. It's as a result of Argentina and the chaotic ending to their team's 2-1 loss to Morocco in the men's Olympic football tournament. Crowd trouble forced the first football match of the Games to be suspended for nearly two hours, with the game eventually completed in an empty stadium. With Morocco leading 2-1, Argentina appeared to level the match 16 minutes into second-half injury time. I'll say that again, 16 minutes into second-half injury time, which sparked bottles being thrown onto the turf and a pitch invasion by some supporters in Moroccan colours. To get more details about this, we're joined by a football man extraordinaire from Hollywood Balls, the content platform with all the latest news and star interviews, uh, Peter Redding. Thanks for your time. Uh, have you ever had to cover a four-hour football match before? Not really. I think you've just done that perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable scenes that to, well, not just 16 minutes in, into injury time, but then, mm. you know, having the Moroccan fans, all well, the, the people dressed in the Moroccan clothes come in, and then just a, a two-hour <laughs> delay before the VAR made their decision on the offside. Yeah, it's it's almost as though you know there was there was so much there, but you knew that VR would play a point somewhere along the line, and uh, it did. But right, right at right at the, at the end of everything, absolutely incredible. I mean, uh, where do you start? I mean, how how do you unpack that? I mean, the the, the result itself, no one's really talking about the result, are they? <laughs> <laughs> now, see that that is what it is, right? There are two aspects of this game. One, obviously, yes, result uh, Morocco trumping uh, up against uh, Argentina, and then the crowd. Uh, obviously, as the crowd has taken a lot of uh, headlines literally around the world. Mm. But what about the game? Morocco 2-0 leading this game and then Argentina coming in and making uh, at least some attempt to try and get an equaliser if they could. Yeah, I mean, it, it, you've got to take your hats off uh, to, to, to Morocco. They had a good, they had a good game plan. And, uh, and, you know, I mean, obviously the atmosphere lent itself as well to 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 everyone being on uh, on their side after events that have taken place recently so you know it was always it, they were always in the ascendancy. Don't forget as well, you know, that, 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 that there has just been an, another major. There's a lot of teams playing in this competition that have, have had players and, 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 and management involved in, in major tournaments just recently as well. So, you know, there's a possible hangover from that as well. But don't, don't, don't take anything away from Morocco. They were, they were one of a couple of uh, really sort of outstanding results from, from day one. Looking uh, further afield to the tournament, uh, for a lot of people who mm. don't know, it is under 23s uh, with a couple of yeah. um, uh, older age players that are there. It, it's a bit of a Just mixed a couple. Yeah, it's a mixed bag of sides. You know, you've got nations there that wouldn't generally appear at a World Cup. Yeah, you just having a bit of an eye over it. Who do you see are the main contenders to to, to be up for the medals? It, it's it's a funny one because you look at you look at all the main you know the the, the main names and of course they they come across as favourites because all the way down the, the the ranks they've got they've just got such a, a great field of talent. But um, I mean Spain are enjoying an ascendancy now and look at the youth that they're producing. So you know you you look at Spain, uh, you look at some of our own. Um, should we should we say MENA region teams as well in there? I mean, e- Egypt, Egypt are in there. They've got a very very good young technical side. Uh, know from having seen them, uh, Iraq as well, uh, who got off to a fly and start themselves. So you know all of these people, and then you look at France, um, who who eased into the competition as well. So the, the main names plus maybe a few uh, MENA surprises in there as well, Kitch. Yeah, we'll look forward to it. Uh, as always, we appreciate your time. Uh, Hollywood Balls Live. Any any big events or anything you need to push or plug that's coming up? Well, we will be. Uh, we're we're going to be launching uh, the Premier League season, so more details on that to come. But we'll be we'll be in Dubai somewhere um, at, at, at a great venue near you guys, and uh, hopefully you'll come along and, and and the listeners will as well. Yeah, definitely. Let us know, and we'll uh, help you out. That Premier League starts August 16, twenty twenty four. Hollywood Balls Live. Right. You can Google that. And uh, Peter Redding, thanks for your time. Thanks, guys. Take T- care. TSB Talk Sport Business on Talk one hundred point three.